What's good, Golden Family? Welcome back to our channel. As you guys can see, today we are answering a few of you guys' questions that you guys have on the stroller traveling system. The right. Greco the Greco system. Premier uh, travel system that we have. Um, you guys requested a part two about a month ago, and we promised we would have got you uh, with a part two. So here we are today giving you guys that part two that you requested. And we'll just be answering some of the questions you guys have regarding this uh, travel system. So if you're a new mom or if you're in the market for a stroller, we're going to be answering those questions. Hopefully, we help you out. and. Uh, let's dive right into the video. Yes, and just keep in mind that what works for us may not work for you, but this is just a video that will help you decide what stroller is best for you and your baby. Right, right. So, yeah. So we have the questions here on our phone under the under the first video. So Ramon is gonna go ahead and read a question. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, one of the questions that you guys had was um, regarding like the, the handle of the, the stroller, and let me just bring it around so you guys can see it. So you guys were asking if like the handlebar, like is it rubber? Um, so it is leather, uh, and it feels more like a synthetic leather, so it's not really 100% um, like like genuine leather. But as you can see, it's uh, it's a leather material, and it's all stitched around the inside as well, and it's really soft. So, uh, in the two three months I've had it, yeah. In the, in the three months I've had it, it's been really good. There's no signs of uh, wear or damage or tear. So, so far, it's been pretty good, and like I said, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's synthetic leather, it's just stitched to look like real, genuine leather. Um, you guys are also asking um, if the handle could adjust. So you can adjust the, the handle of the, the stroller, but it's not in the way that you guys are thinking. So the way you adjust um, the, the handle on this stroller, you just use these, um, it has two little white tabs right here, and it has one on either side, and once you press on it, you can do it simultaneously or not, but once you press on it, you can essentially slide the stroller um, um, height up or down. So that's essentially one of the only ways you can adjust the handle. Now if I put the, um, the Premier car seat on here, you could put the car seat in two ways. You could uh, click it on. So you can click it on just like this so the baby is facing forward. Or same thing, you just click the little handlebar right here. And you can turn it around. So essentially, you can have the baby face in whichever direction you want. And then when you do that, this is what I was mentioning with the handle. You can just squeeze it. You can adjust the baby up to be a farther away from you, or well, down to just be a farther away from you, or you just pull it up and you know have it close to you. But that's essentially the only way you could really adjust the handle. And this part itself cannot be um, cannot be adjusted. So. That's kind of kind of a downside to it, but so far we haven't had any really issues where we need to adjust it. And we've both used the stroller, so um, thus far this part has been fine. Um, so another question you guys had as well was um, it was mostly regarding the, the toddler seat. The toddler seat, right? Um, with this one, it's the same thing, same procedure. You guys could uh, you can attach it. Uh, front ways if you want. And it's done just like that essentially. Or you can attach it. Oh, and, and to get this one off, it's a little bit different than the car seat. It has two tabs on the side. So you just press these two up and you could turn it this way as well. Now with the toddler seat, there's also something else you can do with the toddler seat. It doesn't have to stay this way. Right. Like, see how this is, it could be turned into like a little bed for when they fall asleep. However, you could just squeeze the buttons right here. Yeah, so you can squeeze the two buttons. And it turns into like a little chair. Well, well, no actually is when it's actually a toddler seat. The, right. the way it was before like this, that's really just to, you know, for newborns and stuff, you could, you know, just keep them upright. But now we have it in this position. That's essentially when it's um, a toddler seat, and it has it has two two positions that you can do for this one as well. So you do that, then you can um, you have it like that, or you can just have it like all the way down if you want. But then again, it's gonna be flapping. So once you have it clicked in place, then it's kind of how it is as a, as a toddler seat. And once you put the toddler seat down, however, you're gonna go ahead and adjust the back. There's something at the back you adjust yeah. it so it's a completely sit up. Right, yeah, so you can uh, you can adjust um, the under here it has like this pull handle Not sure if you can see that from where the camera is at, but 
has a full handle right here. And all you gotta do is pull on it and you can adjust the baby up or all the way down. So once you do that, and you can see that around here, you also adjust the, the angle, the back angle that the baby is sitting at. So more upright or, um, you know, more relaxed. Uh, and essentially what the baby should be, uh, relaxed. Um, this insert didn't come with it. it. We just put that insert in there just to make Zamara um, a little bit more comfortable. Right. So, yeah, but other than that, the, the padding inside is, it's soft enough. It's so we're gonna put Zamara in a seat to show you and it has this little handle bar. It's like a rebound bar that you could put there to you know, kind of keep them in place, you know, not to fall out in case you hit a bump. Right. And this can be adjusted. You can just squeeze the little handle right here and it comes, it slides to the side. You can also take it off completely and, you know, replace it with a, with a, a snack tray. But more on the snack tray in a little bit. Right. So you guys also wanted to know if the wheels on this stroller was rubber. Is it rubber? It's yeah, yeah. It's it's rubber. Yeah. It's a it's kind of it's a rubber hard. tire material. Right. It's it's like a rubber tire material, so it doesn't ride hard. It rides really smooth compared to the other um stroller that we had, which mm -hmm. rides very hard. You felt every bump in this in the other one, but with this one, it's perfect. So yes, it's rubber. But it's like a really thick rubber. Right, and I'm just going closer to show you. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's it really looks like a tire. It's it's rubber, but it's like hard rubber, and it's it's really smooth. Like it rides so smooth. And it also has um, really big wheels as well. Uh, the wheels are honestly bigger than most strollers that you you've really seen um, or you know trying to buy. So it makes the ride even more comfortable. Uh, with uh, with less rotation because the tires are so big. So regarding the, the seat as well, you notice how Zamara is in there? She's not strapped in, but that's essentially how she would be sitting down in there. Um, obviously a lot more um, a lot more upright, but that's essentially how Zamara is. And mind you, she's growing. She's only four months now, but her feet are starting to dangle a little bit. So I'd say, but if you have a, a two-year-old, um, he'd be a lot more um backwards in a stroller and a lot more down because you know they're obviously taller so at four months this is how zamara looks in the stroller and that's kind of how her feet um dangles as of now uh, you can see right there and again like i said you could adjust this to to go up or down to you know give him a more comfortable uh ride okay so another question you guys have was does the toddler seat unfit to make a bassinet also that so, answer is no but yeah, so it doesn't unclip to make a bassinet. Like I showed you, when you recline it, that's really the farthest that it will go. With. Like right now, that's the farthest down it goes. Um, not gonna really recline it because Zamara is sitting in there. But you have to, there's a bassinet attachment that you can get from Greco. That's like a full on bassinet system. And I think it's about, I think it's about $150. You can get it. It's, it's just the same. It's a click connect system, just like these ones. And you just click it onto the, the stroller. So essentially, this is just a toddler seat, not an actual bassinet, and you can't make it into a full bassinet, if, if that makes sense. Since, and you can see from the side, that's pretty much how the structure of it is, so it can't really go any flatter than that. Right. Hope that answers the question. Okay, so you guys wanted to know if we were able to find a snack tray for this stroller. Yes, we do, it's also on Graco, and we haven't looked into it yet because Amara hasn't reached to that age yet where she needs a snack tray. So yes, there's a snack tray, but we just haven't gotten to that yet. Right. So the snack tray essentially um, uh, connects just the way this, the, the handlebar connects. You just remove this, uh, you unclip it, and then you uh, fit the snack tray. It clicks in just the same and um, kind of locks in on both sides, just the same as the, the handlebar does. So yes, it's a direct replacement for this, but we haven't bought one or need one as yet. So we kind of haven't. We can't show you that today, right. but there is availability. You, right, and some of you moms wanted to know how we like it so far. I think it's actually pretty great. Like, I really like this one. What do you think? Yeah, I really like it. Um, this one is probably a really great stroller for the mall or going shopping. And you might say it's big and bulky. That That is true, and I'll show you guys how, how we fit it inside our car in a little bit. But if you look down here, there's a lot of storage. When we go anywhere with Zamara, we just fit her baby bag right here in the in the back side of it. And that's just to show you how big it is. Like, that's really big. So if you her bag in there, and then you have all this storage 
all the way around to the front and everything to fit a lot more stuff in there. Go ahead and kind of demonstrate how big it is and how much bigger the storage it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this like little pillow in there mm -hmm. and look at that. And this also actually goes up or down up, right. to yeah to a lot more storage. Yeah, so that's a full size um, cushion for um, our couch and it fits in there perfectly. And so that's that, not even all because there's just still this little space right here. Right. Stuff, so. Right. So yeah, it's a massive stroller. We really like it because, like I said, it fits everything we ever need um, for Zamara. And yeah, if when we go shopping, sometimes we don't ever bring a like. If you're going clothes shopping, like to the mall, you probably don't need a, a shopping bag or a stroller or a, a car. You just put your stuff in the bottom of the stroller and go to checkout, and that's it. And and yes, it's a big stroller, but we'll show you like the most set in the car. It's a big stroller, but just for the simple fact that this is not on it, when you put it in the back, you still has a lot. You still have a lot of trunk space, right? If that makes sense, because you can fit stuff inside of it or around it. Right. Also, for the the big car seat, uh, another thing is uh, you can adjust all these uh, the inserts, and that's standard and typical amongst most car seats. So it's not you need to gray coat yourself. But I forgot to show you guys. You can adjust the, the headrest right here. It has a little tab right here. You can see it um, all over headrest. You just click on it and you can go up or down with the entire inserts and headrest. So for a taller baby like Zamara, um, you just adjust it all the way. And at this point, that's the maximum that it goes. So at that point, you obviously may need to buy um, or transfer into a, a full size uh, car seat instead of a baby car, baby top car seat. So, um, yeah, so adjust the back to the height. Right there. Yeah, and once you once the baby gets older as well, you can remove all these, and then you can uh, you can adjust the, the handles and the, the straps as well inside uh, the, the, the car seat. So all these are kind of tucked away in the back end. Yeah, it's obviously a three point harness system, so you can see the red harness right here for the, the leg straps, and then the shoulder straps right here. There's a tab right here to adjust the, all these right here, so just pull on it and it will adjust all these. And then to, if you want to make it like looser, there is a, um, a little metal thing in here, like metal, like a prong. You just squeeze it inside here and you just pull on these to adjust them, to loosen them essentially. But yeah, that's kind of how this whole system is. Pull this down, obviously lots of coverage. And like I've shown you, you can adjust the, the handlebar by just pressing one button and it goes on um, forward or backwards so it's really easy than most car seats because you'll have one thing to press you don't have to worry about pressing both sides. yeah both sides of it so very easy uh very easy to use uh i think it's a really great stroller uh, i like it and she likes it so the only bad part is that it has one cup holder on it as you can see one little side attachment and you can obviously take this off that's the only cup holder attachment you have on, um, on the stroller. So to put this stroller in, um, in the car, like in a uh, flat position, it has two little clip um, buttons right here, one on either side of the handle. You have to press both of them simultaneously. So press it and kind of pull up, and then it kind of just closes together like that. And then it clicks into place uh, using this little latch right here. And th this is essentially how how small it, it folds once you have everything in place. And you can put it down in the car in this way or that way. It really don't matter, or you can put it upright. So there are several ways you can do it um, to fit inside your car. And yes, again, I said it's a, it's a big stroller, but based on how shallow and small everything is, even if you put it inside your vehicle, you can still fit all things around it. So I'm gonna put it inside the car and show you real quick. So like I said, you can fit it, if you have a, a taller vehicle, you can fit it uh, you can fit it upright, or the, the way we usually have oars is we just flip it um, down like this, and then just tuck it right inside our vehicle, and it, it fits. It fits perfectly um, with, within our trunk space, as you can see. Um, like I said, yeah, there's lots of space around it. So, despite it being a, a big stroller, you can fit stuff around it on that side or around on this side and yeah it fits perfectly fine the wheels are also locking i forgot to show you guys that you can lock the front wheels by using this little click thing right here so you lock it into place like that and once you press it down it has to be in the, in the opposite direction but once you press it down we'll lock the front wheels so it won't run away and even with this in our in our trunk we can still have our cargo shade in there and yeah it's like 
my stroller is just gone. So yes, it's big, but again, it's worth it. It's a pretty big stroller, but pretty effective. So yeah, I'm just close the trunk so you guys can actually see that it fits. And just like that, it fits in our trunk. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, if you have any more questions, um, hopefully you don't, because I'm pretty sure we'll cover everything in depth. Um, but it, but should you have more questions, though, you could DM us on Instagram. Um, and our Instagram is in the link of the, the, the bio or the link of the video. So if you have more questions, just shoot us a DM on Instagram. We'll try to answer them. Hopefully you don't. But that's it for the video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.